bait, man. Ain't got bait. Got to get bait. Let's hit it. guys people ask where's the motor but you haven't been watching my youtube videos lately <laughs> motors in about 50 pieces <laughs> and so i got tired of working on that thing so i'm going fishing black soldier flies these are pretty young These guys are very young, are very small. They got a lot more growing to do, but it's good for some first season. Good first season. They don't like the light, seems like. You know. Cast out behind us here. Just like that. Down that shadow there. Mm, I think we're hooked. We're hooked up on a limb. Dang gum it. Oh, and uh, dang gum it. Let's see what we can do here. Yep, on a tree branch. Yep. Right here in this shadowy part here, but I didn't get robbed, but it's not what I'm looking for. At least the skunk out of the boat, right? You can fish this just like bass fishing, guys. Um, you cast it out and reel it in if you want. And we're not anchored up. We're just letting the current and the wind carry us wherever. And the river rises and falls depends on the barge traffic and those sorts of things. I can smell lots of bluegill beds in here. So... Uh, What do we got, guys? Oh, make sure it drags up. This guy's not pulling like a bluegill. Oh, we may have a, a little channel cat here or something. Yeah, I think that's exactly what we got. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, channel cat. Tons of these this, with off this bait here. Make a good sandwich. What do you think? Good sandwich or not? Catching that size all the time with these little baits. And the hook. Not much luck around that big point there, so we're gonna move out. Not having luck doing one thing, do something else. And you don't have to spend a whole lot of time doing something. You know, 10, 15 minutes and do something else. How long does cured chicken liver last? You see that? That has been on this boat since before Christmas of 2015. That's how long it lasts. It, it's still good. Look at that. I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, we're just going to use this as our glug. Get some little oil on there to kind of freshen these guys up slow so I'm gonna put the second rod out here double our perhaps double our chances or at least lose twice as much tackle in the same amount of time <laughs>
guys up, or at least I was. Yeah. Think I'm hooked up. Didn't realize I left my uh, video camera on. It's gonna be a long shoot here. The little guy. He may have gotten off. No, he's on there. Ah, there we go. There we go. Golly, look at that. My stinking rod broke. Must have set the hook too hard, I guess. I don't know. A little stripe. Oh, a little stripe hit it. I believe he... Look at that, guys. I broke my honking rod, man. How in the world that happened? Ah, oh, brand new rod. Um, again, I was just trolling these uh, little... He's got a little stripe here. I'm not sure if this is legal size or not. I don't know if that's a hybrid or not, so we're gonna put him back. When in doubt, if you don't, if you're not sure the... You know, lip, uh, come on, fella. I'm trying to get you loose so you can go back and get big now. <sighs> fella, dude. Hold your mouth so I can get you. He just ain't gonna cooperate. These gill plates are kind of razor sharp, and I don't wanna... But man, he's strong too. Stripe. I don't know, again, I'm not sure if that's legal size or not, so we're gonna put him back. Yeah. My goodness, I sure hate that. These stripes have been feeding all up and down on this side of the river uh, as I was trolling on that side, so I just decided I'm trying to get back into the creek mouth. Sometimes if you don't have a motor and all you have is like paddles like this, it forces you to fish where you are. You have to put in and just thoroughly fish where you are instead of just wishing you can get way upstream or way downstream. Uh, sometimes that's a good lesson to have. Just go out in a canoe or a john boat or something with just a paddle and some oars and just see what you can do. Okay, so using bluegill for bait, you need to check your state regs. In Alabama, it's perfectly legal. It's okay, just as long as, in Alabama, it's okay as long as you don't use more than, have more than 50 in your uh, possession because that's the krill limit or whatever. So you can go out and catch a 50 bluegill, then go fish them out, and then go catch a 50 more and fish them out like that. In other states, it's absolutely illegal. In other states, it's ambiguous at best. So you just need to check and see what, uh, your regs are. A lot of people will go to catching chubs and carp and shad and skipjack, but I think down here, because the Alabama is good bluegill territory, why not just use the bluegill for bait? If it's legal, use it. That's my bait of choice for bait fish, uh, but be mindful of those state regs. All right, guys, so how do I preserve this stuff? Borax, pickling salt, brown sugar. Measuring cup, doesn't really matter. Just, just get you one. And you want a bag to put it in, and I usually put this in here. You want to label this bag well, so, uh, so people won't think it's something they're gonna put in their brownies or something, because this borax is not safe to eat. <laughs> okay, so a three, two, one mixture. All it takes, three, two, one. So, borax. In our measuring cup, you're going to mix by volume, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, it doesn't really matter what. And you can mix old with the new or new with the old, whatever. One, two. I'm pretty sure what the borax does is help the meat harden up. Brown sugar, two parts and one part salt. And you could even go down to half a part salt, but I'm gonna put a whole thing of salt. Make sure it's pickling salt, you don't want the iodine. You've seen me do this before, but it works. You know, I found it works actually better for blue catfish than it does for channel catfish, so. All right, so, cutting bait. 
interesting knife. Got bluegill of various sizes here, various places. This is all bait. Main thing we do is uh, cut off the heads, and that'll be one thing. And I'm going to do something that a lot of catfish might find surprising, which is I'm going to cut out the gut pocket. Right? You cut it out like that. And, but I'm not really trying to preserve the guts, I'm trying to preserve the meat. And we're going to cut the tail off. And so the, the gut and the tail are going to be thrown away. And that could be one piece of bait, or I can cut it smaller and make two, or I can use a head, whatever. Get on out here. You smell fish, don't you? Little old dog here. Creature there. Don't want to lose my shot composition. He smells his fish. These dogs know I'm a fisherman, so they... <laughs> All right, so now it's time to put them in here. So shake it up. Make sure everything gets nice and coated. And then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, guys. Cured chicken liver. A whole bag full of it. Oh, plenty of bait. Bag full, plenty of bait. All right. See ya.